हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ सुनील सोनिग्रा एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द असेंबली ड्राइंग एंड डिटेल ड्राइंग ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट टूडे वी विल कंसिडर सम ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम्स बेस्ड ऑन इंडस्ट्रीज टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम्स हाउ टू ड्रॉ द डिटेल ड्राइंग ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट एंड हाउ टू ड्रॉ असेंबली ड्राइंग ऑफ एन ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट वी विल ऑल्सो कंसिडर सम ऑफ द एनिमेशन बेस्ड ऑन द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट एंड वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट बिल ऑफ मटेरियल इन प्रेजेंट डिस्कशन to do we will cover, we will cover uh, the aim title days the after studying this session and working through the problems you should be able to do the following the first to make a detailed drawing following standard procedures to make an assembly drawing following standard procedures and to prepare bill of prepare set of working drawings and to prepare bill of material or it is also called as the part list of an object detailed drawings what do you mean by detailed drawing so this is one typical example based on industrial aspects which covers the first one this one is an detailed drawing of a spindle you can see the details the names uh, of the component is mentioned over here the symbol of third angle projection method is shown over here the dimensions detailed dimensions of an object are inserted over here the name of manufacturing operation that is central drill 55 at top is mentioned over here the symmetricity of a and revision date that is 1600 is mentioned over here so whatever revision is made is mentioned over here, that is a a is revised by the person fn approved by this person so this shows the detailed drawing of spindle similarly this shows the detailed drawing of jack body in which you can see the sectional view is shown over here revision is made which is represented here with the revision table and this third one is the spindle cap the detailed drawing of the spindle cap is shown over here which shows the medium knurl as represented over here now this drawing shows the assembly of these three components as we have seen these are the three components if we assemble all these components components together it will make an assembly as a shown over here the name of component are also mentioned over here that is number 1 which is shown over here as a spindle in the part list number 1 number 2 this component which is spindle cap number 3 it's a standard washer and number 4 is a jack body this one this is a jack body and a is written over here it means that it is an revision a revision is represented by symbol a and description is written over here that is m16 by 8 was 5/8 inch width and reference c2 date this and approved by the person and this is top view and this is side view of this assembly so i hope assembly drawing of machine screw jack is clear to you next assembly drawing which is represented over here that is of air compressor various components are represented item number 1 item number 2 and so on eight components are there represented by their individual names and here sectional view is represented to show the interim details of an assembly here also the revision is represented over here and one thing is added that is zone it is in zone number 1 which is drawn over here now information from assembly drawing what information we gather from this assembly drawing assembly drawings may contain the following that is one or more views needed to represent an assembly overall or specific dimensions needed for assembly notes on manufacturing processes required for assembly enlarged views to show small details and balloons to indicate item numbers it may be there in the assembly and the part list or bill of material which is represented in any assembly drawing now this is assembly drawing of old hams coupling and it's an isometric view of old ham coupling which is used to connect two shafts in which the axial movement may be needed to give and axial flexibility could be given with this assembly now how this assembly works and how to draw detailed drawing 
and assembly drawing of this old ham coupling that we will see in detail after this animation so in this animation we will see how this old ham coupling works this is an thank you for coupling. watching the video tutorials of mekanis miller Oldham coupling is a mechanical device to transfer torque between two parallel but not collinear shafts. The coupling mechanism is named after John Oldham who invented it in Ireland, in 1820, to solve a paddle placement problem in a steamship design. Oldham coupling mechanism is a three-piece coupling mechanism comprised of two hubs and a center member. The center disc which is usually made of plastic, transmits the torque. On the center disc, mating tongues are located on opposite sides and oriented 90 degrees apart. Drive groves are located on the hubs. The tongues of the center disc are fitted to the groves with small tolerance to prevent backlash. With time, due to friction tongues may wear off. Since plastics are relatively cheap, it would be advisable to change them if backlash occurs. The middle disc rotates around its center at the same speed as the input and output shafts. Its center traces a circular orbit, twice per rotation, around the midpoint between input and output shafts. This coupling mechanism is not suited for applications that require angular misalignment as it is the case for universal joints. Also this type coupling cannot be used in an application where push and pull with rotation. Since the center disc is floating, pulling the shaft will cause the center disc fall down. However the Oldham coupling mechanism is the one of the best coupling for small robotic application and they can be easily manufactured by 3D printers. We encourage you to subscribe our channel and give a thumb up to this video. Now we will see how to draw detailed drawing of each component of Oldham couplings and how to represent its assembly in the drawing sheet. So this is one representation or line diagram of Oldham coupling. We have seen the animation, how it works. This is an intermediate piece as shown over here. It is a sliding element. And here this is a driving shaft and this is driven shaft. As the driving shaft rotates in any direction, say clockwise direction, according to that this intermediate piece will also rotate and according to uh, the rotation of this piece, the flange shown over here will also rotate in the similar direction. But here you can see the axis of both this shaft that is driving shaft and driven shaft are away from each other. Here offset distance is there eccentric distance is there and both are not collinear so here also this intermediate sliding disc allows this misalignment of this axis here only one condition needs to be satisfied that both the shaft should have the plane uh, the direction of the axis should be parallel to each other they should not be at certain angle the distance between the axis is allowed but the they should not they it's not needed that they must be coaxial uh, as in the case of flange coupling so that is the added, added advantages of this uh, old ham coupling whereas in case of universal coupling that drawback is also overcome that we will see in the subsequent slides now we draw the exploded view of this old ham coupling here this is a driving shaft, this is driven shaft and this is rotary or sliding disc. This disc is allowed to move in both the directions, in vertical direction and in horizontal direction as well. You can see because of this square portion, it is allowed to move in sliding along its horizontal axis and because of this vertical uh, shape, this uh, it is allowed to move in this vertical direction and hence 
इट कैन ट्रांसमिट द टॉर्क फ्रॉम वन एंड टू अनदर एंड और वन शाफ्ट टू अनदर शाफ्ट इवन इफ दे आर नॉट को एक्सेल सिमिलरली हियर दिस शोज द असेंबली ड्रॉइंग ऑफ ओल्ड हम कपलिंग हियर ऑल्सो दिस इज अ ड्राइविंग शाफ्ट दिस इज ड्रिवन शाफ्ट एंड दिस इज अ स्लाइडिंग डिस्क एंड दिस स्लाइडिंग डिस्क इज अलाउड टू मूव इन टू डायरेक्शन एंड दिस इज द साइड व्यू ऑफ दिस असेंबली एज इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड ओवर हियर सो आई होप द डिटेल ड्रॉइंग एंड असेंबली ड्रॉइंग ऑफ दिस कंपोनेंट इज क्लियर टू यू नाउ वी विल ड्रॉ द वी विल स्टडी अनदर कंपोनेंट दैट इज असेंबली ऑफ स्टीम स्टॉप वाल दिस इज टिपिकल स्टीम स्टॉप वाल एंड दिस इज द मॉडल ऑफ स्टीम स्टॉप वाल विच इज ड्रॉन विद द हेल्प ऑफ सॉलिड एज हाउ स्टीम स्टॉप वाल वर्कस दैट वी विल सी फर्स्ट एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल ड्रॉ the detailed drawing and assembly drawing of steam stop valve which is used to control the flow of steam in the boiler first let me see its basic principle and after that the working of the steam stop valve is as follows as the hand wheel is rotated in the clockwise direction it pulls up the disc valve this allows the release of steam indicated in the figure by means of yellow arrows the degree to which the disc wall is raised from the wall seat regulates the quantity of steam discharged if the hand wheel is rotated in the anti clockwise direction it reduces the clearance between the wall and its seat this cuts down the quantum of steam and ultimately cuts off the steam supply completely once the wall engages the seat now we will see how to draw the detailed drawing of this steam stop wall So this is the first component of steam stop valve that is its main body as we have seen in the animation this is the portion through which steam will enter and through here this portion steam will go out and here the dimensions are inserted according to the standard notations an align method of dimensioning is employed in this case as it is not much bigger drawing and sectional views sectional lines are represented where the material cuts the uh, the section the dimensions so this is the detailed drawing of body you can see and this is the detailed drawing of some other components so second one that is bridge front view and top view with the dimensions third one is the gland top view and so front view after seeing these details we will assemble these all the components together to make a complete assembly of steam stop valve this is number 4 that is valve this one is the valve number 5 is the bush then number 6 it's an hand wheel used to rotate the axis so that we can lift the valve and allow the steam to flow in the direction and to control the flow of steam this hand wheel needs to be rotated in either clockwise direction if we want to increase the flow or in anti clockwise direction to reduce the flow of steam these are the other elements that is seven number is collar number 8 is gland studs and number 9 are studs here four types of studs are used so the dimensions varies according to the needs suppose the two nuts are for gland studs of diameter 18 one nut for spindle having diameter 20 mm six nuts for cover studs having diameter 20 mm and two nuts for bridge bridge studs having diameter 22 mm so this shows the detailed drawing of each components of steam stop wall which is used in boiler to control the flow of steam now if we 
uh, this is the bill of material for that which includes the name of part that is body one quantity material is cast iron part number two is bridge quantity one made up of cast iron part number three is a gland one made up of cast iron then number four is valve one quantity brass then number five is a bush quantity is one material is brass then number six is hand wheel quantity one cast iron then collars one quantity mild steel then gland studs four sets of mild steel and studs four sets of the material mild steel so this is the bill of material for given details now if we assemble all these parts this is one more uh, example of universal joint as we have seen the oldham coupling in which one drawback is there that angular misalignment of shafts are not allowed in case of oldham coupling so this universal joint is used or universal coupling is used when uh, the both the shafts may be at any angle angular alignment angular uh, co coincideness is also not required in this universal joint any shaft can be joined which are at any angle which axis are at any distance and to transmit the torque this universal joint is used here you can see this is a model of universal joint in which these are the two shafts through this end and the another end the shaft is inserted over here keyway is drawn over here this is a keyway this is a cut section of the universal joint and here because of this angular movements this assembly can transmit the torque at any moment so before drawing the assembly drawing of universal joint let me see an animation of universal, universal joint coupling. this coupling also called hooks joint is used to connect shafts whose axis intersect It has a central block which acts as a pivot member. It also has two forks with the shaft carrying hub made